This video is to help people in the UK install the Ring Video Doorbell Pro. If you're unsure about any steps during this, do seek the advice of a professional. In the box, there are four different fascias for the Ring Doorbell. The Ring Chime, the Install Tool with double-ended bit, Masonry Drill Bit, Transformer, which is 230 to 24 volts, the instruction manual, Chime bypass, screws and raw plugs, uh, plug adapters for the Chime for the US, EU and UK plugs. Ring have thought of everything, except of course the drill, which you'll have to provide yourself. We didn't have an existing doorbell, so we needed to find power near the door. We opted to feed power off an existing light switch. First we drilled a hole where the MCB and transformer would be located as there wasn't space for a double-sided breaker or transformer in our consumer unit. We fed the two cables down behind the plasterboard from the switch to where the transformer will be located. We wired one cable to the two 30 volt side and the other to the 24 volt side. Next we drilled a hole to the outside where the doorbell was to be located the wire for the 24 volt end was fed through the wall and stripped and prepared to attach to the doorbell. We then finished off the MCP box, making sure it was firmly attached to the wall. Then we drilled a couple of holes for the mounting plate. We attached this using the raw plugs and the screws that were provided. In order to get a more secure and stable connection, eyelets were used to attach to the wires. Next we attach these eyelets to the screws on the back of the doorbell itself, shown here. Then we took the doorbell and using the screws provided, we attached it to the mounting plate. We then took power from the plug socket and attached it to the wire leading up to the 230 volt end. We then powered on the ring for the first time. At this point, using the uh, app you've downloaded onto your phone, follow the onboard instructions. First of all, it will ask you to search for the ring itself. Once it's found that, it will ask you to confirm your Wi-Fi and password. So you select it as it says. And once it's fully connected, it will flash blue. To test the device, you push the button and you will hear the chimes on the outside. If you have the ring chime plugged in, which I suggest you do, you will also hear it on the inside. This is the sort of picture the ring doorbell can produce. And as you can see, it is of a rather high quality during the daytime. This time of day, it was roughly around about dusk. If you find the app for the first time, you'll see your chimes installed and the doorbell itself, also a list of activities and motions. If you click on the live view on the app, you bring up the live view of the camera, which is shown here. The motion capture is excellent, as demonstrated by the B setting it off just then. At night time, the image is of a good quality. This is what it looks like on the outside at night. Here is an example of a nighttime image. Motion sensing at night is just as good, and you'll be able to track all of your uh, neighborhood cats. If you wanted to set uh, the ring up on a tablet, I've also done that using an Android tablet, the Amazon Fire 7. I sideloaded the uh, Google Store onto it, and then installed the relevant software. Installed a slightly older version of the ring, so that when you did push the doorbell, after about five seconds, it automatically opens up the Ring app. And on Android, when that happens, it'll bring you straight up to the live view, like so. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Please do subscribe and like and comment down below. If you're unsure about anything mentioned in this video, do seek the advice of a professional. You can also find us on social media, on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter and please do share and like our content. For your next taste of the Digital Connoisseur please join us next Sunday. Until then, thank you.